So I've started building my Ivan Miranda inspired big 3D printer. Um, you can see the 3D printed brackets for the um, aluminum tubing, aluminum extruded aluminum tubing. Um, this one was an experimental design where I was gonna see if I could just um, friction slide in the um, upright tubing and it was a terrible design and I'm not using it anymore and I'm instead using this and doing and similar to what Ivan Miranda did where he had separate clamp on things for the upright um, that you'll see shortly. So I, I did a lot more CAD. Um, we have an AC heated bed with one of these Chinese um, Fortex solid state relays that was like $7 on AliExpress or something. They're very cheap. I um, mean, this is the really high current rated one. This is a 40 amp one um, because I bought the super overrated one because I don't want to cause a house fire. Um, and we will be uh, mounting this to the aluminum extrusion for some extra heat sinking. Um, we taped over the um, contacts and we can still do that to get a screw through for mounting. Um, because I don't want to electrocute myself on the contacts um, with the main voltage and then we just have some speaker wire coming out to connect it up to the Ramps 1.4 um, Arduino Mega Board. Um, we, and then we have a US um, UL listed AC cable coming out the other end. Um, which hooks up here. We got the silicon lead coming out and if we follow the lead we get a glass sheet, um, which has been um, stuck on to a silicon heater. And then we have a, an MDF um, insulating and mounting surface underneath, which we will use, um, which is easy to put screws through, so it'll be easy to mount um, everything onto this underneath MDF um, and that'll also help serve as some insulation because MDF is not known for its thermal conductivity and of course it's not as good as cork or something but um, it's plenty good enough I'm sure um, we have these which these are gonna go like this um, and these are eight millimeter um, hardened steel uh, linear rods that will be used to help keep the bed in place. We have a lot more um, electronic, and parts on, electronic parts and stuff on the other side of the basement. We have timing belts. Um, all of the electronic parts are in my workshop, but this doesn't fit in my workshop, so we're building it out here, um, basically is why. I don't have the electronic parts right now. I need to bring them out. We have these, which will um, hold some more um, 8mm linear rods that are still in a box in my workshop. Um, we have this, which is a sheet of acrylic that we're going to use. Um, it's going to mount it on the side of the printer, kind of like that. And I know it's clear, so you can't see it, but you see the edge. It's going to mount like this. Um, and we're going to mount all of the electronics on that. Um, yeah, it's, I tried to, um, you can see we cut it at 45s, which is not going to be great for the clamping, but it works. These are 45s under the clamps. Um, I had tried to weld it together just because I thought that would be, um, possibly stronger and it, I didn't really want to 3D print the clamps because my uh, 3D printer has been on the fritz which is part of why I'm building this um, and I also just wanted to try um, I, I call it welding it's brazing Bra brazing aluminum with the uh, aluminum brazing rod and a blowtorch and so I went to my local maker space um, and um, they were very nice about it and we tried to get that working but we just couldn't get it um, couldn't get it working so I said okay just help me cut the rest down to size um, so like we have these which are all cut down to size that are not 
uh, 45. This, is, this was after we found out the uh, brazen ones work. Um, and I said I'll just clamp it together. Um, because, I mean, the clamps are actually decently strong. Um, and we'll put screws through this. Um, M5 bolts, basically, or whatever the US equivalent is, because M5s are really expensive over here. Um, yeah. I really wish the US used metric, because at this point, like, half of my thoughts are in metric and half of them are in imperial. And it's really annoying. <laughs> um, especially this, where it's, I designed it around metric screws, but imperial aluminum tubing and metric linear rods, and it, 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 this design was all over the place. Um, Ivan's design is much better if you live in a place where you can actually buy um, metric um, aluminum tubing. Unfortunately, you can't buy metric aluminum tubing in the West, so I created this abomination um, that works in the U.S. Um, yeah. You'll see it when it's done, but I just decided I would let you know that I've been working on this a lot lately. Um, because I really want a reliable 3D printer again, and I really want a big 3D printer because... Um, 200 by 200 gets very small very quick. Um, I mean, prior to my Prusas, or not actual Prusas, but Prusa clones, um, it's, I had a friend who had a 3D printer, and I was able to use his, but his was like 120 by 120 or something. His was really tiny, so I thought 200 and by 200 was so big when I first got them. But I, I've printed things that, there's a lot of things that are designed for 220 by 220 build beds. So I just barely can't fit on mine, and that's been really frustrating, so I decided to super overcompensate, and this is going to have a 400 by 400 build uh, platform. Yeah. That's all. Um, I'll, I'm 3D printing more of these right now. Um, I'll update you when I have the frame together and start working on the electronics and stuff. Probably, I don't know. Um, yeah, I probably will make an edited video maybe when I get this um, finished, depending on how much time is left in the summer. It's the school year by the time I get this finished. I'm never going to bother to edit a video um, together about this, but yeah. Um, and that might actually be worth watching. These are not worth watching. I'm like Ivan, I'm not good at cinematography. Um, but, yeah. That's all. Um, and also expect to see a repair video on the Nexus 6P soon, because mine is, uh, broken. Again. Uh, first the battery went, and now I cracked the screen. Um, so... I will probably make a video about fixing the screen because I didn't make one about fixing the battery. Um, I, I bought a boot looping unit on eBay, um, quite cheap, that I will take the screen from and maybe I'll even attempt to repair the boot looping one and sell it, um, re resell it. Um, because a lot of people say the boot looping issues are just caused by the battery. Um, so I actually will probably first replace, put the, put the battery, the known good battery from this Nexus in the boot looping one, see if it boots up, and if it boots up, then I can sell it as, like, a working, uh, logic board replacement to someone, I don't, um, yeah. Anyways, um, that's all. Bye. I rambled for way too long. Um, make sure to subscribe if you don't mind terrible ramblings um, most of the time, but maybe occasionally a somewhat half-decent video, probably not. Um, don't bother liking this video because it's terrible, and that's all. Bye again for real this time.